resume this hearing, um, I read in some of our media that uh, House of Reps commences. It's actually not a commencement. This is a hearing that has happened for at least over two months. And so we're just uh, resuming the hearing on the COVID-19 expenditure. And the whole purpose of the hearing, as captured by the motion which the House passed, is to ensure that um, we are transparent and accountable in the expenditure of the uh, various sums of money running into uh, over 600 billion naira that was released by the federal government of Nigeria to combat the COVID-19 pandemic and the resultant effect of the pandemic in, in our public works. Um, that was why some of the funds were given to various agencies and ministries that are not health related as an intervention to replace the economy after the um, uh, various lockdowns that uh, uh, COVID uh, caused in the country. And uh, I want to assure everyone appearing before this committee once again that we are going to be very, very uh, fair. Uh, we are going to be very uh, firm. And we are going to be very, very lawful in all that we do because that is the hallmark of the 10th Assembly of the House of Representatives. So I want to urge all ministries, departments, and agencies that will be appearing before us once again to please uh, note that we will highly appreciate their cooperation in terms of giving us um, uh, facts and figures uh, without uh, diluting them. And uh, I also want to use the same opportunity to also uh, sound a note of warning to those uh, ministries, departments, and agencies that have consistently shunned the invitation of the House of Reps through this committee on the COVID-19. Uh, by the publication that we made in the uh, Punch and Daily Trust of the 4th of January 2024, we did say there, and we meant it that that was the last time we were going to extend the invitation to any MDA. Uh, anyone who fails to appear without justifiable reason will leave us with no other option than to resolve the issues uh, in investigation against them. It will be assumed that they do not have any justification for the expenditure of the monies uh, released to them on COVID-19. And this is very, very, very important um, for those who haven't come and haven't sent in any communication to show that they had a justifiable reason for not coming, we will be taking a position that those issues in investigation are resolved against them.